What's going on guys? Welcome back to another night here. I Now I did promise a lot of people on one of the live uh, streams the other night that I would go over what I personally do to help fight mites. So in this episode we're going to go over some of the different things that I do if one of my snakes happened to get mites on them. I'm not going to do this in the snake room with one of the venomous snakes. I'm not going to risk stressing them out because none of my snakes have mites. Uh, very rarely do my snakes actually get mites, but it does happen occasionally. Um, so in this process, you're definitely going to need something to put the snake in. I prefer, myself, I prefer black tubs because the snake will feel more comfortable in a darker area than a clear tub. In a clear tub, they can see out, lights getting in, all that fun stuff. Um, so it's less stressful for the animal if you put them in a dark tub. You're also gonna need blue Dawn dish soap. Now, a lot of people say you can use different Dawn dish soaps, but that's not true. The blue Dawn dish soap is actually animal safe. That's why there's little ducks on the front of it. This is why they use this particular um, soap for oil spills and stuff like that, because it is safe for the animals. It is safe to get in their eyes. It is completely okay. Now, do I suggest you get it in their eyes? No, try not to but this is what you, or what I use um, as well. Now also, there's this stuff that I'm sure a lot of people have heard about called Preventamite. It's fantastic, but it is very expensive as well, especially when it's in a little can like this. So this is something my sister actually had got me on, which is this stuff right here. Now, this is pretty much the same thing as Preventamite, but a lot cheaper. And you can get this at Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Target, wherever you possibly want to, you can get this stuff. It helps with uh, lice, bed bugs, and dust mite spray, pretty much three different things, but it also will kill the mites. Now, we'll get into this later after um, I talk a little bit about the soaps and stuff. Now, what you're going to want to do pretty much, um, you know, depending on your snake, you're gonna want a bigger tote for a bigger snake. For an example, in this one, I'm going to be using um, the ball python, so I have a smaller tote. Uh, you know, the bigger the snake, obviously, the bigger the tote you're gonna want. But this one is um, very small, so he can't kind of move around too, too much, which is okay. Now, where is she? There she is. I don't even know where the other snake is in here. Oh, there you are, behind it, of course. So, now this snake, does not have mites at all. Again, I'm just using this as an example snake because it's a ball python, nothing wrong with it, but I just wanna go over this with you guys. So, what I very simply do is put the snake in here. I'm gonna bring him down here on the floor so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I put the snake inside the tote. Hey, you gotta, you gotta stay in there, Missy. So then very simply, now, you gotta remember, mites are very bad for reptiles, so, Especially right now with everything going on with the coronavirus, um, soap's a little hard to come by, but uh, again, I'm using an example. Now, you're not going to hurt the snake if you put a whole lot of soap on it. So what I literally do is take the soap and dump it all over the snake. Because you definitely want to kill off all the mites that are on the snake. So I'm just very simply covering it. Make sure you get it on its head as well. Try not to get it in its eyes, it's not really that big of a deal. Now I'm not gonna cover this snake too, too much what I normally do because of the fact that it does not have mites. Now, what I do next is pretty simple. Take the lid of the tote, put it on the tote, and wait about 30 minutes. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes now. Um, so basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna check the snake, just make sure everything's okay. At that point, the snake's going to move around. The soap's going to get underneath its belly scales all over it because the snake is going to constantly move around inside the tote. But now that he is covered in soap, literally from head to toe, you're going to want to grab some water and put some water in there. Now, you don't want to put cold water. You don't want to put hot water. You want to put, on average, about warm, warm-ish water. So I already have some water made here. Now again, not a big tote. It's a very small tote. So I'm just gonna very simply pour this in there. I know you're a spider ball python, you do that. So what you want it to do is basically just cover the back of the snake like that. 
So, now that that snake is in soapy water, we're gonna take the lid, put it over it, and wait about another 30 minutes. All right, so that's something I totally forgot you're gonna also need is a towel for this process. Now, the snake's been soaking for about 30 minutes. Um, you're gonna to wanna to take the snake out. You're going to grab them up, and you're gonna to wanna to wash them off in a sink, um, you know, just try and get as much of the soapy water off of him as much as possible. Now, once you do that, then you're going to want to actually start drying the snake off. Now, I'm not going to do the sink thing right now, again, because the snake doesn't have mites. But I'm going to dry him off as much as possible. Try and get all that soapy water off of him. All right, I lied. I'm going to dry him off because he's still slimy. Hang on. Don't mind the machete in my sink. Oh, you're such a spider ball python, I know. Okay. Oh, did you really just shit? Shit. Oh, you're still shitting. You're, you're still pooping. So that's a very common thing um, when you soak snakes. Snakes tend to use the bathroom, especially when it's nice warm water. Hopefully you're done so I can finish drying you off over here. Okay, so once the snake does get a nice rinse down, um, then you go ahead and dry him off. Just again, you want to make sure you get all that soap off him. Now also when you're, what you were doing with this is pulling off all the mites as well. So once he's nice and dried off, um, you know, again, pulling off all those mites as well, you can go ahead and take paper towels or another towel and do it again if it makes you feel more comfortable uh, just to get the rest of that off of him. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in this cage so we can continue with this. Now, during the soaking process, again, 30 minutes at a time, 30 minutes in just straight soap, you want another 30 minutes uh, with soap and water. During that time, you're going to want to clean the snake's cage out. Now, if you have multiple snakes, you got to check all the snakes around that particular snake that also has mites. When you're doing this, though, you're going to want to take all the bedding out or paper out or aspen out or whatever you're keeping your snake on, take it all out, bleach. Um, or put all of its either hides, plants, water bowls, whatever it is you have in that tank with it, put it in bleach water, uh, basically like a cap of bleach in a five gallon bucket. Kill off anything that's on those uh, items you had in your enclosure. Clean out all the bedding and then that's when this bad boy comes in handy. Now again, this is a lot cheaper than Provenamite, pretty much the same exact stuff. Um, but what I like to do is completely fog out the cage. So I'll pretty much spray it everywhere in the cage after you have the cage nice and clean. Spray it everywhere in there so it kills any eggs or other stuff. Make sure you spray the cracks all the way around the cage, all that fun stuff. Um, if your cage is able to, uh, I like to, what I like to say is pretty much fog it out. So when I have it in the vision cages, I will leave a glass door open this much and I'll sit there and spray half a can in that vision cage because then it's fogging out that entire vision cage and I know it's covering every single area, nook and cranny. So this stuff is golden when it comes to that. Now, after that, after it dries out and it's okay, it's not really damp in there anymore, then you can go ahead and put the snake back in there with bedding and say water bowl. Um, I particularly don't like to put the snakes back on bedding. I like to put them on paper towels because they're white and mites are black. So you can see if there's mites still continuing to come off the snake. Now, I give it about a week and then I soak the snake again. Now I'm doing this to just kill whatever other mites are left on the snake from eggs hatching or different things like that. So this is a very long process, but this is what I do for mites. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Um, you know, maybe you'll use one of my things, maybe you won't, 
but a lot of people were asking me in the live chat for what I do for mites, and they asked me for a video for it, and I told them I would get that done ASAP for them, so this is that video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you did learn something new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Huge thank you to my Patreons. You guys are awesome. Um, subscribe if you are not already. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.